Welcome to the art project. Thanks for clicking on my video. We're going to do a uh, face today. We're going to do a portrait. I'm going to do it with a fork, um, actually two forks uh, glued together um, with black speedball ink, uh, super black speedball ink. Um, so the first thing I did was lay out my drawing, lay out my portrait uh, with a pencil on some good quality drawing paper. Um, I have a, a very scribbly kind of style when it comes to laying all of this out, uh, continuously putting down lines until I see the right one in there somewhere. Um, so this, this just kind of creates the structure of the drawing. Another thing that I do is I sort of outline the uh, shadows um, and the dark areas. So what you see in the drawing doesn't look a whole lot like uh, the face um, sort of looks like a masked man with a round, I don't know, funny looking mouthpiece on of some sorts. Um, but anyway, that's because I'm not only outlining or not only laying out the facial features, but also the shadows in and around the eyes and the mouth. Uh, just kind of in, looks like he's wearing glasses, doesn't it? but uh, in and around the, the different facial features. So um, after I got through uh, getting everything kind of laid out, I did not want to lose my original drawing. Uh, so I took it over to the uh, light table. Um, oh, wait, before I took it to the light table, I did some of the details, uh, some finer uh, details around the mouth. Now, a lot of this is not going to make a whole lot of difference because when I start using the fork and the ink, I end up making it extremely uh, dark and messy. So a lot of these de details don't really amount to a whole lot in the final product, um, but maybe on a, another drawing because I'm going to save this particular drawing so I can do some other ones uh, from it. But anyway, so that I can keep this particular uh, master, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, this original copy, I um, took it over to the light table and traced it. If you don't have a light table, you can tape your artwork to a big window and uh, you can trace uh, using the, the light through the window. So for some reason with the camera on the light table, it makes all kinds of crazy little lines right there, as you can see in the video. Um, but um, no worries. What I have right here is the original drawing on the light table with a new piece of drawing paper on top of it. And I am drawing just the main lines, not all of the mess ups, not all of the restatements, but just the main lines so that I have a uh, basically a color book image to fill in. I hot glued two forks together slightly askew of one another, got a big cup of ink and proceeded to paint it in. It did not work on hanging on the board so I put it down on a table and started filling in the spaces. Uh, it's a really messy uh, process uh, or messy look to it so it's really not very important that you are precise. You just can give up being precise with a fork. Uh, every now and then I'll lean the fork over and use one corner tong, um, but, or one tong on the end, but for the most part I'm just kind of scraping along. Now the double fork did not work out very well. Um, you have to hold it just right in order to get all eight tines to uh, scrape across the paper. And so it was even messier than um, using only one fork. I've got another video, uh, which I will try and put a link to right here. Um, you can go and see the first fork uh, drawing that I did, which may, uh, may have turned out better than this one. I don't know. Uh, this, I, I like the way this one turned out. But as a rule, whatever I start doing, whatever the exercise or experiment might be, uh, as a rule, I like to continue working on it. 
you know. Uh, so as I started, I was like, all right, this is not going to work. This is going to be a complete failure. This is just too difficult. But as a general rule, I like to keep going all the way to the finished, all the way to the end. I can always throw it away if it really doesn't work. And if it does work, then hallelujah, uh, you know, the experiment worked. Uh, but like I said, if it doesn't work, I just keep on working until the end. And at the end, I'll make the decision if it worked or not and throw it away if it didn't. But or maybe rip it into pieces and utilize the sections in a collage or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, I promise you, as I was using this fork, it was frustrating. Um, and, you know, a lot of artwork, if you uh, are trying something new or you're doing something different, a lot of artwork is frustrating. So that's no reason to quit, no reason to give up. Uh, just press forward. Um, another thing that I didn't like about it was that the fork was squeaky. Um, I don't remember the first time I did, did this uh, kind of fork drawing uh, with just a single fork. I don't remember it being as squeaky. So I probably won't use a double fork again. Uh, but I probably will use a um, single fork to do the process again. I do like the way the lines look and the way they turn out. Um, so I just keep laying it in and laying it in. And now the way I take the photograph, I try to make everything pretty dark anyway, pretty dramatic, little chiaroscuro action going on. Um, so. The, another funny thing about the fork is that the tines are fairly spread out compared to, um, you know, if you were doing a standard um, cross hatching drawing, you can put those lines together real close. And I thought that I was going to accomplish that by using two forks, get them to look closer together, but it just really didn't work out that way. So I continued to. Um, build it up and build it up and build it up all the while getting ink where I didn't want ink to be um, but getting a lot of darks where I, where it ended up being a darker portrait which is good I, I like a, a dark portrait overall um, I think I also maybe quit too early I didn't get it quite dark enough in some places but uh, I also at some point kind of bailed on the fork uh, so that I could get some finer details with a um, regular ink nib. And so I went in and just added and darkened and continued to fill in some of the spots. Some of the spots were really hard to hit with a fork. So I needed this uh, regular ink nib to go in and make some places darker. If you look at the little area underneath the nose, that shadow was pretty dark in the uh, photograph. So. I had to fill that in some more. Probably my favorite part of this picture is the shadow on the shirt. Uh, not really meant to be the best part, but it, in my opinion, I, I like the way it turned out better than the others, better than a lot of the other stuff. It was a struggle to get the hair as dark as the hair needed to be in some places. So I'm like, I got to the point where I was just like slinging that ink. You can see little drips everywhere. But that actually added a nice little effect. And then I started beating the fork on the paper, kind of like a drum. You'll see it dun, 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 right there. I did that on the face a little bit in some places, and then I did it in the background uh, to get a little bit of atmosphere. Probably didn't do it enough. I also made the bottom right jaw or his left jaw way too um, big. It's, you can see how rounded it out it is. It looks like he's got something in his mouth down there. Eventually, I um, got a uh, paint pen and kind of uh, white, kind of whited it out. It actually mixed with the ink and made kind of a gray. Um, but you'll see how I fix that in just a minute. Uh, on the eyes, I used a little bit of white out to get the white of the eyes, and then there was like too much, so I ended up going back over it a little bit. So here's the white paint pen, and mixing it with the um, ink, it kind of made a gray. I squeezed it in a little bit more, kind of like 
grayed that part out and then I went around the whole thing with the marker so it had kind of a gray outline. I got rid of the jaw, kind of slimmed it down a little bit. Um, and then while making this video, I realized it was still uh, too bulging looking. So, oh well, uh, maybe on the next one. So tell me in the comments down below what you think. Be sure and like, subscribe, share, and comment. Go make some art.